let's just talk about how we read the Bible a lot. How to approach and interpret the Bible correctly. And there are four different schools of interpretation. The first is a literal reading of Scripture. So-called literal, because really I'm not sure that it's very literal. It's rather a kind of a modern reading. Our world finished on the text of the Bible. It uses the so-called historical grammatical method. The Bible is seen as a unique propositional revelation due to its supernatural origin. And it's been taken just as it reads, as if it was written directly to us today. And Genesis is taken to be a divinely revealed science. Uh, have you heard of this before? You've seen this sort of approach to things? Secondly, there's a kind of mythological, sort of the alter ego of this. Uh, where the Bible will be taken critically, just like you take any other religious text. If there's anything to be learned from it, it's like um, the wisdom of anybody. There's nothing particularly uh, essential to be taken. There are two, and we find both of those readings of the Bible not particularly helpful. The final two that I think may be helpful is what I would call a figurative reading using literary critical methods, where we try to see the biblical texts in the context of other parts of scripture. And uh, what's going to come next is going to be one example, I think, of this kind of way of reading scripture. And it's much more useful and fruitful. And uh, it suggests to us that uh, the opening chapters of Genesis might not really be about how the world came into being, but might be about how we understand the world as God's dwelling place, as the temple of God. We'll hear more about that in a moment. Finally, the realistic reading of Scripture, um, and I can say more about this later on, approaches the Bible as if you were a cultural anthropologist going to a new tribe. <laughs> right? Um, do you think that the anthropologist approaches the tribe and thinks that he learn nothing from them? Why would he go to study them? Right? But he recognizes he's going into a fundamentally different world from his own. And he comes along insisting on thinking and using the language of his own world, he's going to get nowhere in understanding those people of that community. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. This is an approach to the scripture similar to that. How many of you saw the movie, um, it's called The God Must Be Crazy? Yeah. It's, it's not the world's best, but it's sort of the idea about the Khoisan tribes people of uh, the Kalahari. And uh, what's interesting about the movie, the one point I want to make is that the movie tried to portray that these people might not know how to get to the moon, but they certainly know how to survive and live in the desert. And they can do it a lot better than we can in the modern world. This would be the idea of going to the Bible that we can actually learn something from Scripture, but it might not be talking in the same language or talking about the same things that we're interested in our world. So it's a kind of a bilingual approach to the text where we can learn from the text seriously about all sorts of things and not simply impose our ideas on it and allow it to speak to us in our context, in our time and space.